Also wir steigern jetzt uns und kommen jetzt zur absoluten Spitze. Gerade eben haben wir schon ganz viele Infos über Maranz bekommen, beziehungsweise im anderen Video. Und jetzt anlässlich des Denon AVR A1H habe ich die große Ehre. It's such a pleasure to welcome these two gentlemen. This is Mr. Yamado. He's in care of product development from Denon. And Mr. Takahashi is the genius man behind Denon's A110, um, who developed this device and did the sound um, treatment compared to the X8500. Um, and this leads me to my first question. Let's talk about the X8500 and Denon's A110. Um, I had the chance to hear both of them in our demo room and I concluded that the um, A110 sounds more natural, more balanced, a little bit more softer. It even reminds me like the, the sound I'm familiar from Marantz. Do you agree with that or did you have any other intentions while designing the sound from A110? Yeah, so uh, Yuki is the man behind a, uh, AVR A110 product sound mm -hmm. tuning. So what he... Might, please... The, the okay, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so what he did was uh, review all the other uh, parts and, you know, tune up compared yes. to X8500H. And uh, also uh, he listened again and again to finalize. 810 sound you know the tuning so yes let me ask him you know if you if he agrees to your impression sure. um, yeah what i tell you yeah, yeah. I, i agree with you uh, mm -hmm. ba basically uh, i used uh, the platform in, uh, in a110 uh, a110 is using same platform as uh, 8500 mm -hmm. only uh, to change the parts, parts grade uh, upgraded parts. Uh, yes, I agree with your impression. Okay. Thank you. And <laughs> I have to thank you for the great product. And well, let's talk about the new one. Are you involved in the development of this yes. new unit? Okay. As a conclusion, do you think this one will sound even better than A110 or is it just an X8500 with an enlarged channel count. Yes, uh, I, I believe. Play, place the microphone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I believe uh, if A1H is uh, greater than A110. Mm -hmm. Yes, because uh, I, I have the ex experience uh, through the developing A110. Uh, just uh, for A110, just only cross change. But the Uh, at four A1H, uh, I changed the driving capability, uh, power supply uh, capability, and uh, more tuning for having uh, extra parts uh, like this and uh, like this mm -hmm. successor, and uh, adding more. Uh, we, we can okay. do that. Yeah. Okay, so you could do more by inventing this one from scratch than just yes. um, changing some parts yes. from A110. And this, this um, finalizes in um, focusing this product sounding like... Is it sounding more like a Denon X8500 or more towards A110, this one? Of what? Based on... A110. Okay, so this is yeah. sound wise more focused in, in that direction. Yeah, because uh, uh, this product, uh, uh, you know, uh, developed uh, based mm -hmm. on his experience with A110. Okay, not so. X8500H. And finally, uh, audio -wise. does he expect this one to sound better? That's his expectation. Yeah, oh, okay. his, his goal is to make this product sound better than A110. That's amazing. That sounds very compelling. So, you know, uh, we continue to use the, the same part we use for uh, A110 on this product, which was not uh, used by X8500H originally. And we reviewed the uh, constructions, uh, design of this uh, product. 
based on you know x8500 or 810 because uh, these two product construction wise uh, it's same identical okay yeah but however you know it gets a uh, deeper and also you see a uh, more powerful uh, a transformer and also 1.5 times a uh, high you know higher grade audio mm -hmm. capacitor here so these are new you know cast made for this product we did not have these for a100 or x8500 h and uh, also we reviewed the heat uh, management so you can see newly like uh, a kappa plate uh, a bottom of the uh, transformer mm -hmm. and also uh, here is the another kappa plate uh, next to heat sink which is uh, two times thicker than the one in the a100 uh, 10 or x8500 h mm -hmm. so there are a number of many improvements on this product even compared with a 110 receiver okay that's very interesting yeah and also one thing uh, I want to point out is uh, we are using the actually same foot mm -hmm. from a 110 so if you know a bit the a 110 foot a feet is a different isolated, die yeah. cast. it's a you know super yeah. heavy material uh, we are using the same feet from uh, a 110 mm -hmm. yeah. that's, that's so x8500 h easier uh, is not die cast so a 110 is a die cast and this a1h is also die cast feed mm -hmm. yeah that's so you can consider you know a base on the uh, the improvement we applied on a 110 and we further accelerated to develop and engineer a1h mm -hmm. can you evaluate which single modification makes the biggest difference is it the amplification? Is it the wiring? Is it the processing power? Which is the most important step ahead, in your opinion? In, so, you know, processing power is it's a functionality, mm -hmm. right? So, like 15.4 versus 13.2, so that's a huge step. So you don't consider the device to sound better by having more um, performance? On this side, from a DSP. Yes. Point of view. You uh, think this affects mm -hmm. the performance having more DSP power? The sound quality, or in your opinion, is it just based in hardware? So I think sound quality-wise, it's here. It's not really about uh, DSP because DSP is to provide better functionality. Okay. And here, I think sound quality improvement is here the design constructions okay, and materials and how they design each you know uh, PCB board okay. and also you know separations of a uh, uh, digital part and also you know amplifier part so we are so basically the constructions it looks similar to x8500h sorry x8500h <laughs> or a110 but we you know further improved so that's makes the uh, improvement on audio quality or, or performance. Okay. So maybe you can Yeah, I agree with mm -hmm. him. Uh, yeah. uh, both of them are very important for the sound, but uh, the, the, it's just for uh, functionality wise and uh, uh, the construction and the hardware is good. Is very important for the sound making. Uh, as for this model, uh, we upgraded uh, power supply cap capability, uh, not only uh, adding the two channel, mm -hmm. uh, uh, adding a hardware upgrade, uh, as you can see, many things uh, studied by uh, through the development of A110. Mm -hmm. Do you think this device would benefit from including separated chambers between the different boards, or is it uh, more likely uh, something? Uh, th this, uh, this amplifier is included the uh, small signal part, processing part, mm -hmm. and the uh, pump amplifier. Uh, so, you, so you say there's no need for having yeah, uh, different chambers. It needs to be separated. I think. Okay. Yeah, and uh, this. Uh, this 
as you can see, the heat management system under the mm -hmm. uh, pump refryers. Uh, usually, we don't use the uh, fan, but the, this is a uh, very, very hot part. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we need to separate. Okay. Th this construction is very important. All righty. Anything else I forgot to ask you or you would like to, to add? Yeah. I'm, I'm very excited to get my hands on this one in our yeah. showroom and our customers also very much appreciate yeah. the launch of this product. So yeah. thank you for... Not, not only for sound quality, uh, our imp important point is the connectivity. Uh, I have a very important question. I don't know whether the question is, yeah. um, is the right for you to answer. Can you, do you have an idea why we had to wait such a long time to get a AV receiver from Denon in this price range except of Denon A110? Mm -hmm. I, I, we, you know, there, there were some really legendary Denon products five, ten years ago and it's nice to see that like AVC, A1 HD, mm -hmm. AVP. Uh, do you see any chance that a AVP revival will ever you, happen? You, or you know AVP A1H and uh, yes, uh, two, 2007 we released it. Yes, it yeah. was a tremendously piece of hardware. And I still use an AVC A100 A11 XV uh, uh, yeah. in one of our do, uh, rooms. It, it sounds so fantastic, but it's lacking a, a modern room acoustic software actually. But in general, I really appreciate having this kind of hardware back at, at Denon. So what's the reason that it took so long? <laughs> it's a hard question. I don't know whether you're a hardware guy, but perhaps you have an idea. Yeah, it's, I think, you know, because, so look at the, the entire industry. So not, you know, it feels like we are the only, only company investing in this high-end AV receiver so unfortunately you're right yeah so that means you know there's always you know trend shifting something else we need to allocate more into resources to develop something else but uh, you know our hope was always to come back to the place where we are okay with the product like uh, ABC A1 XP what you know A11 XP you just said and that's why uh, you know, when we started to think about uh, this product, uh, new flagship high-end general ABL, uh, let's say, you know, five years ago, we started discussions and year from the project kickoff, uh, we took four years to finally yep. deliver this product. So that kind of a time and efforts are needed to develop such, a, you know, high-end AV receiver and AV receivers unlike a separate everything is in one box so mm -hmm. it's so much challenge in yeah. here you know how to work with your noise vibrations and how we manage heat so we eventually added a two more a channel compared to x 8500h but it's not like just adding two more channel it's not such easy uh, yeah it's complete redesign actually complete redesign so as you can see here right so it took you a long time to, yeah, to get there. Long time. So, first, as a company, uh, we need to be allowed to spend that much of our angel resources to develop just one product. So, that's the first step. And if everybody agrees, you know, yeah, this is a product we should develop. So then, you know, it takes more time to deliver finally okay. to the market. So, I want to, you know, kind of emphasize. Like this is not like just a business decision. So we want to make more money or make more sales with high-end product. This is also a result of a passion from our engineering team. You know, all engineers, they, you know, we, we of course continue to uh, develop product like uh, X2800 and X3800, that's a bread and uh, butter. We have a but huge variety. Yeah. yeah, so we also need economies of scale to keep us going, you know, we need to be able to uh, use more resources, spend more money, and uh, 
so it's actually you know right time because we've been so successful with your dental AB receiver sales like 2800 3800s you know more affordable price point so I really appreciate our denim funds to you know continue uh, believing in denim and getting a dental AB receiver so that's plus and our engineering team's a passion to create you know a best no, okay. uh, best ABL so that's everything you know kind of combined you know so I guess we are lucky you know if the, the market is bad if sales are not good mm-hmm. I don't think we ever be able to make a product like this so let's simply be happy that we have this product and yeah it's so on. and we took a step you know starting with x 8500 h and uh, he built a knowledge and experience by retuning x 8500 h and launching a 110 so it's a you know, knowledge and experience is, you know, uh, accumulated over time. So now we are finally, you know, this is a time we come up with this A1H. So it, you know, takes time and efforts, but I think, you know, everything just comes to just one piece. At okay, right got time, it. So it's right like moment. development over yeah, time. Development, but at the same time, so, you know, the company needs to approve to spend such you know, time and efforts of engineering. So, and we discuss internally when we talking about A1H, this is not just a replacement of our 8500H, you know, it's not 8500H plus two channel. This is something totally new. So even, you know, closer to we, you know, we developed in the past like uh, ABPA1 or POA or, you know, a1 XP, so that's why we've decided. Okay, let's give this guy a new name. Okay, and that's how we came up with the A1H name. Fine, awesome. Well, arigato. Doitashimashite, <laughs> arigato. <laughs> <laughs>